What's going on, Facebook? You know, I really hate coming on here, you know, causing trouble, causing a scene. But this is some serious accusations and some real shit that needs to be dealt with. And this person is a fake. And this person's name is Michaela. Now, Michaela, I don't know how you think that this isn't serious, but you are not my brother. You think that this isn't serious when it is. Like, you really think that this is a joke, but it ain't. This ain't no joking matter. You're pretending to be somebody that you're not. You ain't nothing but a fucking poser. Alright? When I made that video reaching out to my brother, that wasn't intended for little fucking fake bitches like you to come along and pretend to be somebody that you're not. You say you remember that day, but you weren't there. So here's my advice to you. Stop being a little fucking wannabe bitch. Alright? Stop pretending to be somebody that you're not. You are not my brother. You are not a buddy. I don't know who the fuck you think you are. And how the fuck you can sit there and have such a fucked up mind. Like for real. What you did is fucked up. You think that it's not serious, but it is. You're pretending to be somebody that you're not. And I'm not okay with that. You think that's funny what you did? You think that shit's cool? But guess what? It ain't. You ain't nothing but a fucking fake. So, Michaela. I suggest you get motherfucking help or get some kind of counseling or get the fuck up off my friends list. Now, for those of you that are just joining the live stream and you don't know what's going on, um, I do have a brother named Buddy that got taken by social services when I was born. And I only met him like one time at McDonald's. Um, you know... It's when we were real little. But I did a message today reaching out to him. You know, just reaching out to him saying, hey, you know, like, I would like to get in contact with you. You know, let me explain everything. And this person named Michaela. Oh, let's see here. It's, it's Michaela Kathleen. Um, commented on the video stating that she remembered that day. And that, you know, she was my brother. So I called her up asking, you know, like, hey, like, who is this? Well, I showed my mom. She knew that it wasn't him. And right after that, I got a hold of the person. I was like, hey, you know, like, why the fuck are you pretending? Like, who are you really? And what does she do? She sits there and laughs about it. As if to make a joke out of it. When this is a very serious situation for me. You know, I made that video specifically for my brother to reach out to him. So when he was not seen since I was very, very young. Probably about five, maybe six years old. Somebody who is my blood brother. Somebody who got told that we want nothing to do with him when we do. So I made the video reaching out to him because I know videos can go a long way. And what does this person do? Pretends to be him. Pretends to be my brother. And then sits there and makes a mockery out of it. She sits there, makes a mockery out of it and laughs about it right there in my fucking face. 
sitting there saying that it's not that serious when it is. Like, how can you be so fucking heartless and cruel to pretend to be somebody that you're not? Like, I don't understand how you can sit there and do that to somebody. Like, I would never do that to you, so why pretend to be somebody else when you're not? Like, I don't get it. So, Michaela, I want you to know that whatever the fuck it is that you think you're doing, it's not funny. And it's not a joke. You think that this is some sort of fucking game that, you know, that it's not that serious. But in all reality, it's a lot deeper than you fucking think. Like, you think it's some sort of joke and that it's some sort of game, but it really ain't. Like, you want to sit there and pretend that you're somebody that you're not. You are not blood. You are not my older brother. You are not buddy. Straight out, period. You think that it's serious, but it ain't. And it's no laughing matter either. Like, if you were to go looking for your brother, I wouldn't pretend to be you. I'd be like, hey, you know, I don't know you, but I'll do what I can to help. Like, I wouldn't sit there and lie about who I am. That's not me. I don't give a fuck if your friends are trolling me. I don't give two fucks. What I do give a fuck about is my brother. And see, and that's the thing with assholes like you. You think that you guys could just troll all over my page, but guess what? The trolling don't fucking phase me. You think that it affects me, but it don't. What affects me is when motherfuckers like you come on my page when I made a very serious video reaching out to one of my relatives, and you go on there pretending to be somebody that you're not. That's what pisses me off. When you sit there and pretend that you're somebody when it's a very serious situation. So I don't know what the fuck you think you're doing, but guess what? Your little trolling bullshit, you dumb bitch, it don't affect me. So go ahead and troll me all you fucking want. All right? I get motherfucking trolls like you every day. And you know what happens to them all? They get put in the fucking ground and get their fucking careers ended on Facebook. And if you think I can't do that, you little fucking bitch, try me. I've got way more connections than you will ever have. All right, my juggle of family connections run deeper than you think, a lot deeper, both old school and new school. I have friends in places that you don't even know about that control your ass just as hard. So go ahead and keep running your fucking mouth. Do whatever the fuck you want. Troll me, do whatever. I don't give two fucks. But at the end of the day, you ain't nothing but another wannabe fake. So like I said, you want to run your mouth about me? Go ahead. But when you pretend to be somebody that you're not, that's when we have issues. Okay, that video was not meant to be funny. It was not meant to be a joke. That was me reaching out to my blood brother, who I have not seen since I was born. Well, I can't say since I was born, but since I was like really, really young. I was about maybe three, maybe four at the time. But when I make a serious video like that, that ain't meant to be a goddamn joke. All right? When I make a video like that, it's not a fucking joke. That's me reaching out to somebody who I would like to have back in my life. If you guys want to see the video that I made, it's actually on the stream before this one, so you guys can go watch that. But if you guys don't know what's going on, uh, let me catch you up to speed here, for those of you that don't know what's going on. Um, as you guys may or may not know, I do have a brother that I have not seen since I was very young. Um, he was actually taken by social services. 
um, the day that we were born. And he, you know, has been told that we want nothing to do with him. That, you know, that we're just all around bad people and we're not. And I was also told very recently that he wants nothing to do with us. Uh, reasons were not given. So I decided today to make a video, you know, reaching out to him. Be like, hey, I don't know who told you what, but whatever it is, they are wrong in what they did. You know, and I'm making this video to reach out to you to say, hey, you know, like I'm telling you the truth. We want something to do with you. We love you. We care about you and all that. And then no sooner than I make that video and I post it up, this person that you guys see right here, Michaela Kathleen, she decided to go on there and pretend to be my brother, Buddy, who is the one that I made the video for and reached out to. So I automatically took the video upstairs, like, you know, I showed my mom, found out that it wasn't him. And what does this person do? Persists and pretends to be him. And trolls all over my Facebook, still. So that's why I'm making this video to let you guys know that if you see this bitch trolling on my shit, troll her right the fuck back. Because when I confronted her about it, I called her up right as soon as, you know, I found out it was a her. I called her up and was like, hey, you know, like, what the fuck are you doing? And she's sitting there laughing about it. She laughed right in my face about it, thinking that it's some kind of joke when it's not a joke. It really ain't. Is she sitting there saying that I'm tripping, that I'm snapping? No, I'm not. What you're doing is wrong, and it's not cool. So, like I said, you want to be a fucking troll? Go ahead. I give zero fucks. Okay, I really do give zero fucks about whether you troll me or not. I don't care. I get trolls every fucking day. Especially in the line of work that I do. Okay? I get trolls every day on my music and everything. Every fucking day. So I'm used to it. So you want to sit there and be a fucking little bitch troll instead of owning up to what you did? That's on you. But just know that your trolling does not affect me in any way, shape, or form. Nor does it affect my fan base, nor does it affect my friends or my family. And you think that this is some kind of game when you pretend to be somebody that you're not? It's not a game. You're messing with people's lives. Okay? You're talking shit about somebody who I have not seen since I was very, very young. Who was told that we want nothing to do with him when we do. See, you don't think about these things. When y'all trolls go out and you do this shit, you don't think about the consequences of the lives that you're affecting. You don't think about the consequences of what could happen. Do you not realize that not only could I have you put on blast, which I very well intend to do for what you've done to me, but do you not realize that when you deal with someone who is worse than I am, that you could actually end up dead or in jail for that shit? Do you not realize that? Fucking quick. Because what you're doing is wrong on every fucking level, both morally and, you know, just in general, it's wrong. You think that I'm tripping, that I'm bugging out? Well, if I am, I have a damn good reason for it. See, what you don't realize is that I have way more connections to the underground than most people will ever have. Not only through my music, but through social media. I've gained a very big, you know, circle of friends. In groups, in personal, people that I grew up with, blood family. You don't know what you're getting yourself into, Michaela. So if I were you, I'd stay the fuck off social media. And I'd find something better to do with my life than to sit on the goddamn internet trolling people all goddamn day thinking it's some kind of fucking joke when it ain't. 
That shit ain't a joke. When I made that video for my brother, it was meant to reach out to him in hopes that I could get my brother back in my life. In hopes that I can tell him the truth about what really went on and why we weren't able to adopt him. You think that it's some kind of game, that it's some kind of fucking joke, that it's something you can laugh about. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not a joke and it's not funny what you did. What you did was morally wrong on every fucking level. When you go off and troll somebody like that, you don't think about the goddamn consequences. You don't realize what you're getting yourself into when you do that shit. And I'll admit, yeah, I used to do shit like that, just joking around. But then I learned really quick that I needed to stop because I found out that I can get in trouble for that shit. Well, and I'm not trying to go back to jail. I don't want to get busted for that shit. And what you don't realize is that you can get busted for that shit. It's called harassment. Not to mention catfishing, pretending to be somebody that you're not. So what you don't realize is that if I really, really wanted to, I could have you and your friends arrested for not only harassment, but also for catfishing someone as well. Hey, thanks, Juana. I definitely appreciate it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, but, you know, thank you for that. That definitely, you know, it's, it's fucking awesome of you to do that. So, Galana, if I like I said, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, but if... Like, if I were you, I would actually get rid of Michaela off your friends list because of what she's doing. I don't know if you know about what she's doing, but this is a very serious issue. And this has not only happened to me in the past, but it's happened to several of my friends. Um, you know, especially in the line of work that I do with me being a professional music artist, professional independent music artist. And so with that, I get trolls every day. I get bashed on, belittled, all that stuff. So the trolling doesn't really affect me, but it does affect other people. And, you know, when that happens, that's when it's like, dude, like you need to stop this. The trolling needs to come to an end, Michaela. What you did was morally fucked up and wrong on every level. Like people like you honestly don't need to be on the internet. Because you think it's funny doing what you're doing. You think that it's funny to, you know, cause drama, to, you know, fuck with people's lives. Not thinking about the consequences. I'll admit, when I was younger and I was 16, 17, yeah, I used to do that shit. We all did. We all went through that phase. But also the people that I did it through... We were all good friends. We were all buddies. Like, we would joke around. We would troll each other to the max. Like, we would literally take it beyond the point of where we should have been arrested. But, you know, we were joking around. We knew each other was joking. But with you, Michaela, you're trolling and what you're doing is not a joke. It's very wrong. It's messed up. And honestly, I want to know what the fuck you're thinking that you're doing when you're doing this shit. Oh, definitely will do, Aaron, for sure, bro. But guys, if... But like, if you guys want to see the video of, you know, me sending that message out to my brother, um, you guys can go back to the previous one and actually take a look at it. Um, you know, like I said, it's a very serious situation when you pretend to be somebody's family when you're not.
But that's a very serious issue. And Paige, you can say whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Your trolling don't affect me. Like, you're nothing but another fucking wannabe clown. Like, seriously, you're a joke. And so are you, Michaela. You're a fucking joke. You're a sick, fucking-minded asshole with no fucking respect for anyone. And you think that it's funny what you're doing by getting your little friends involved? Well, guess what? Your little troll in masquerade, it don't affect me. Hell, to be honest with you, I've seen better fucking trolling comments than what your friend Paige here is doing from a five-year-old. I've had five-year-olds troll me better than you can, by far. So throw all the hate comments, throw what your friends want to say to me, I don't care. Throw whatever the fuck you want at me. But the trolling don't affect me. Because I'm above you. I'm better than that. I don't let this shit affect me like you do. What up, Danny? So like I said, Michaela, you can send your friend Paige. You can send whoever the fuck you want at me. The trolling don't affect me at all. Like, for real, you think that this is some kind of game to me, but it's not. This is my life, my personal life. And when you cross that line into my personal life, pretending to be somebody that you're not, that shit ain't funny. That's just straight fucked up. I would never do that to you or anyone. So why do that to me? That's what I don't get. Like, why... Pretend to be somebody that you're not. Why not just be like, hey, you know, like, I don't know you, but I saw your video. You know, I'm willing to help and reach out. That's what I would do. So why can't you do the same and stop fucking trolling people like a goddamn little bitch? Because there are very serious consequences to what you do. And you might not get affected right away, but eventually down the line, all that shit that you're doing is going to come right back around to bite you in the fucking ass. And if you think it won't, guess again. Because it will. When you least expect it, I guarantee you, you will get fucking bitch slapped with reality super quick. So just a heads up for you, Michaela. If I were you, I would stop the trolling now before somebody worse than me comes along and fucking puts an end to you. And I'm not just saying that as a threat. Eventually, somewhere down the line, somewhere down the line, somebody is going to, you are going to do that to somebody. And they are going to straight up just destroy you. They really will. They will straight up destroy you. And honestly, when you when they do do that to you, I'm not going to feel the least bit sorry for you. Because you will have deserved it. For what you've done to people like me. So like I said, I mean, y'all, y'all can sit there and say whatever you want about me. I give zero fucks about the trolling comments. I really don't care. So, hey, I welcome trolls because that shows me just how ignorant you really are, Michaela. That shows me how fucking dumb you are. Like, you have to have your fucking trolling ass little friends, you know, to fight your battles for you. Like, are you fucking serious? Like, are you serious right now? You have to have your friends fight your battles for you? What, you can't fucking, you know, fight your own battles, so you have to have your fucking friends step in for you like a goddamn little bitch? Are you serious right now? This is honestly funny. This really is. I'm not pissed at you. Like, I'm just letting you know that what your friend Michaela did was not a joke. She pretended to be a member of my family when she's not. I made a serious video reaching out to my brother in hopes that it would reach him and that I could maybe get back in contact with him and that I can explain, you know, everything that went on. 
as to why, you know, we weren't able to adopt him as to why, you know, everything went on. And then when I confronted Michaela about being him when she's not, you know, she sat there and laughed about it as if it was some kind of joke. When it's not really, it's not a joke at all. I made that video as a serious video. I did that live stream seriously to reach out to my brother who I have not seen since I was very, very young. And when she pretended to be him, that was a huge, you know, that was a huge mistake on her part. She could have just said, hey, you know, I don't know you. I don't know, you know, your brother, but I'm willing to help you reach out. She could have done that. But instead, she decided to fucking sit there and troll me by pretending to be my brother when it's, that's not funny. When somebody like me makes a video reaching out to someone like that, it's not meant to be a joke, and it's not meant to be a laughing matter. There are serious consequences to what you do, whether it's trolling, whether it's you know joking around, whether it's catfishing. There are very serious consequences. And like I said, I get trolled every day in my line of work. As an independent music artist, I get trolled every day by record companies, by haters in general, haters of my music. I get that every day. So the trolling and the negative comments, they don't really affect me. I'm used to that shit. I'm used to getting trolled by people. That don't affect me. Like I said, what does, you know, affect me though, entirely, is when you pretend to be a member of my family that you're not. When you try to take somebody else's identity and pretend to be them, that's not only theft, that's not only identity theft, but that's also catfishing. Which, if you guys don't know, is against the law to do either one. Especially on the internet. Like catfishing through the through the internet is one of the biggest crimes that you can commit. So like I said, it's not a joking matter. It's a very serious matter. And the reason why it's a serious matter is because Michaela pretended to be somebody that she's not. She tried to catfish me. And that's not cool with me. And that's not cool with my friends. And it sure is fucking cool with my family. My family is fucking pissed. Because of what Michaela did. So honestly, Corey, if I were you, I would find a new friend. Somebody that's not Michaela. Somebody that doesn't catfish you like that. Somebody that doesn't pull these kind of fucked up stunts. And actually, Corey, it was it might not have been, you know, it might not have been, you know, that serious to you, but to people like myself. And then my family, on a personal level, it was very serious. You know, I made that video reaching out to a relative who I've not seen since I was very young. And you can sort of, you know, joke. But in all reality, it's not a joke. Like, if you were... Like, let's say that you're in my position, all right, Corey? Let's say that you're in my position and you make a video reaching out to a relative. You know, and you make it, it's a very serious, you know, video. You're like, hey, you know, like, I'm trying to reach out to this person and this and that. Like, I wouldn't sit there and troll you like that. I would honestly be like, hey, you know, I don't know you, but I am more than willing to reach out and help you, you know, find this person. I'm more than willing to do that. Which, and I would be. Like, if you went through that same situation that I'm going through, I would have done the same thing and helped you out. So instead of, you know, taking it as a joke, you know, Michaela and anybody that's seen that could have just reached out and hey, you know, I don't know this person, but I wanted to help you reach out. Instead of turning it into a fucking joke and, you know, basically, you know, be somebody that she's not. And if you take a look in the comments, there is a literal comment in there that's claiming that she is my brother. So therefore, she did 
pretend to be my brother. By pure textbook context. When she put down that she remembered the day that I was with my brother. Man, Billy, get the fuck out of here with those lame ass jokes, dude. For real. Like, all your negative comments, go ahead, dude. Say all the fucked up shit you want. Because like I said, dude, that shit don't affect me, bro. Like, for real, that shit don't affect me. So, say all the negative shit you want. I give zero fucks. Besides that, dude, that joke's old, man. I've heard way better jokes than that from fucking high schoolers. Like, are you serious right now? Like, that's all you got, bro? Like, that's all the fucked up jokes you got, man? Are you serious? Like, for real, that's all you got. Is my hair running away? Like, are you serious? I get that joke almost every day. Like, that's nothing new to me, man. Come up with something original, bruh. Like, for real, Billy. You know, come up with something original, dude. For real. Because that's not original. That's that's an old-ass joke. Like, like, dude, come up with something original and then come back and deal with this. Like, that's nothing, dude. But for those of you that do want to, you know, say something to Michaela, you know, her link's in the description. And as for the rest of these fucking clown-ass jokers, and as for the rest of you fucking assholes that want to sit there and be a little trolls, y'all can do this and go fuck yourselves. Because those bullshit comments don't affect me. But as for the rest of you guys showing love and support for me, man, I want y'all to know that I love every single one of you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. Love every single one of you guys. You guys are amazing. And, you know, and I hope that together, through those that do support me, I hope that we can reach out and eventually reach my brother. Anyways, y'all, I love y'all. Love the haters. Love the fam. Love the supporters. I'll see y'all later, man. Peace.